everyone welcome as we solemnize the love of Eric and Jenny today let us pause for a moment now and simply place ourselves in God's presence in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen dearly beloved we are gathered here in the presence of God and these witnesses to join this couple in the bonds of matrimony. Marriage is a relationship which embodies all the warmth and precious values that grow out of human companionship and love. We enter into it joyfully and in the knowledge that love is our highest achievement and life's most precious gift. Into this relationship with deep commitment and high expectations Jenny and Eric now come to join themselves. Who presents this woman? I do. of Eric and Jenny, they do ask for your blessing, encouragement, and lifelong support for their decision to become husband and wife and family. Without family and friends beside them in joy as well as sorrow, this new family will miss the greatest joys of life outside their own home, and that is to give and to receive love to help and to be helped, to teach as well as to learn. They are delighted that you have chosen to witness this special time in their lives. May you always be able to talk things over, to confide in each other, to laugh with each other, to enjoy life together, and to share moments of quiet and peace when the day is done. May you be blessed with a lifetime of happiness. Amen. Amen. Father, yes, Father, if I could you have now. made the bond of marriage yeah. a holy mystery, a symbol of Christ's love for his people. Hear our prayer for Eric and Jenny. With faith in you and in each other, 
They pledge their love today. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of that love. We pray this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please listen now attentively to the Word of God. I love you. I love you. That's amazing. You look amazing. You look incredible. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is a friend? I will tell you. It is the person with whom you dare to be yourself. Your soul can be naked with them. They seem to ask you to put nothing on and only ask you to be what you are. They do not want you to be better or worse. When you are with them, you feel as a prisoner feels who has been declared innocent. You do not have to be on your guard. You can say what you think so long as it is genuinely you. They understand those contradictions in your nature that leads others to misjudge you. With a friend, you can breathe freely. You can avow your little vanities, your little vanities and envies and hates and vicious sparks your meanness and absurdities, and in opening them up, they are lost dissolving on the white ocean of their loyalty. A friend understands. Best of all, you can keep still with them. It makes no matter. They like you. They are like fire that purges to the bone. They understand. You can weep with them, sing with them, laugh with them, pray with them. Through it all and underneath, they see, know, and love you. What is a friend? Just one, I repeat, with whom you dare to be yourself. You look incredible, by the way. <laughs> you really do. Reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you still a more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith as to move mountains, but I do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I have gained nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interest, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It hears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. <laughs> we can't kiss. We can't kiss for a minute. It's killing me. <laughs> Best man. All right. Bring that tape over to the front here. No one will understand what's going on. <laughs> Up front. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Okay. Jenny and Eric, today you join your separate lives together. The two separate bottles of sand coming forward now symbolize your separate lives, separate families, separate sets of friends. They represent all that you are and all that you'll ever be as individuals. They also represent your lives today. As these two containers of sand are poured into a third container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again 
into the individual containers, so will your marriage be. Why are you gonna do me up? Get it, girl. Killing me, Barbara. <laughs> if anyone's keeping track, Jenny won. <laughs> Where were you? Where were you? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help. You. And she always will. We're moving you closer and closer to the people. Okay. Best man and maid of honor, please step forward. Maids of honor, both of you, yes, of course. Jenny and Eric, you have invited us to witness the happiness you have found in each other. Are you ready now to make the pledge of faithfulness and permanence to which you commit yourselves to each other in love? We are. We are. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, turn now towards each other, join your hands. <laughs> and declare your consent before God, your family, and your friends. Now, Eric, I'm not going to say that you have to shout this out, but make sure that at least Jenny hears you. Oh, I'm shouting. Okay. I, Eric. I, Eric, Bubba, Paul, Anthony Gabrinowitz. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. Take you, Jenny, to be my wife. I promise. I promise to be true to you. In good times than bad. In sickness and in health, I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Hi, Jenny. Thank you, Eric. Take you, Eric. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise. I promise. To be true to you. To be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the people of God. <laughs> May the Lord in his goodness strengthen you and fill you both with his blessing. What God has joined, we must not divide. Amen. 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 Lord, bless and consecrate Eric and Jenny in their love for each other. May these rings be a symbol of their true love and their faith in each other and always remind them of their own love. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jenny, take this ring. Take this ring as a sign. As a sign of my love. Of my love and fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Oh, we get it. <laughs> Same kind of thing. Eric. Eric. Take this ring. Take this ring as a sign. As a sign of my love, of my love and, fidelity. and fidelity in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father and, of the Son, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you got it. Very good. <laughs> For as much as Jenny and Eric have consented together in marriage and have witnessed the same before all of you, 
and have given and pledged their vows to each other and have declared the same by joining hands, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Not moving. And now, as a sign of our joining in this celebration, let us all join our hands together, even if we're from different families. Stretch across that aisle. <laughs> and together, pray the prayer that Jesus taught to each and every one of us. Wait for the choreography to catch up. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We'll now have the final blessing. You can release your hands. I'd ask you to please raise your hands in blessing over Eric and Jenny. And after each small prayer, please answer Amen. May Almighty God, with His word of blessing, unite your hearts in the never-ending bond of pure love. Amen. May your children bring you happiness. And may your generous love for them be returned to you many times over. Amen. Amen. And may the peace of Christ live always in your hearts and in your home. May you have true friends to stand by you both in joy and in sorrow. May you be ready and willing to help and comfort all who come to you in need. And may the blessings promised to the compassionate be yours in abundance. Amen. Amen. May you find happiness and satisfaction in your work. May daily problems never cause you undue anxiety, nor the desire for earthly possessions dominate your lives. But may your heart's first desire be always the good things waiting for you in the life of heaven. Amen. It is now with great joy and honor that I present to you, officially for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jenny and <laughs> Eric Kaprinowitz. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Oh yeah, that's right. 